finally, Jesus gives us that divine guarantee. So we, we sometimes wonder, we see the evil that we exist with. Sad to say, sometimes we see the evil within the church. We see those who have been called by God to do holy things. And instead of doing holy things, they do evil things. That's been true from the beginning. That's been true from the time of the betrayer. And it will be true until the end of the world. Until the last priest is ordained. Great saints will be raised up. And there will be those who throw away that divine vocation. For their own evil purposes. Sometimes we get discouraged. Wonder about what's happening in the church. Wonder this. Wonder that. Why doesn't the Pope do this? Why doesn't the Pope do that? Why doesn't the bishop say this? Why doesn't the priest do this? All of these things. We wonder. Sometimes, unfortunately, even doubt begins to come into our faith. Never let that happen. What did Jesus tell us? What were his last words before he left us? We heard that read today. Jesus told us, my dear people, Behold, behold, I am with you all days, even unto the consummation of the world. And Jesus has been with us. All through the tumultuous days of the church from the very beginning. Jesus was with the early Christians in the Colosseum. Jesus was with us during the schisms that occurred in the church throughout the ages. Jesus was with us throughout all of the heresies. Jesus was with us when we had evil popes who cared nothing else but other than their own lust and their own greed. Jesus was with us. Jesus was with us during the Middle Ages. Jesus was with us during the French Revolution where the priesthood was held in contempt, as it is being held in contempt today. The Lord Jesus was with us. He's with us at this moment. And he holds firm the church in his divine hands. And through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, truth prevails in the church. The church cannot teach doctrine or moral order because of the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. And the church will be with us until the end of time. Until the end of time, my dear people, there will be priests here. God will provide us priests. We might have to seek them out, but they'll be there. Just like during the persecution of the church in England. Faithful smuggled priests and hid them in closets, hid them in cellars, at the peril of their lives. Why? Because they needed that priest for the absolution of their sins. And the Holy Spirit will provide those priests. The Lord Jesus will be with his church until the end of time. Persevering the church in truth. Persevering the priesthood. Making sure that the people who he laid down his life for on the cross of Calvary will have the mass, will have the sacraments, will have the forgiveness of sins. For our Lord Jesus, the Good Shepherd, he's the Good Shepherd that laid down his life for sheep, and he promises he will never forsake us. He'll never forsake his church. Second person of the Blessed Trinity, who came down, who gave his life on the cross of power, who suffered an agony beyond all time in that dreadful crucifixion. And before he ascended into heaven, he calmed the fears of his apostles, and he calms our fears today. Son of God. The great high priest.